half ago, I, I got this article forwarded on my desk about how the military is trying to somehow genetically engineer soldiers to have night vision built into their eyes. And I was like, what are you talking about? So I started digging a little bit deeper into this and, you know, went to Google and Yahoo, and I found somebody who's absolutely fascinating, and, and we're having him on the show today. His name is Tom Horn. He's behind the Raiders News Network. Go to RaidersNewsUpdate.com. Absolutely fascinating stuff. I'm going to warn you right now, some of the things we're, we're about to talk about are so freaky and scary that you're going to wish it's not true, but unfortunately, my friends, it is. Tom, welcome to the show. How are you doing, my friend? Hey, Josh. Great to be on with you. Great to have you. Now, we're going to talk about something called transhumanism, so let's, let's basically start there, because when I was talking about having you on the show, most people didn't know what that is. What is transhumanism? Yeah, well, it's something most people are going to know uh, as we move into the very near future, but transhumanism is simply the term that is given to describe a growing uh, segment of our population, and this includes everything, by the way, from old hippies and geeks all the way up to members of the military, as you open the show by referring to, or this segment by referring to, who believe that we now have it within our power to use uh, emerging fields of technology, especially those areas of new science and technology that are related to the genetics revolution, that we're going to use these to change mankind, to take us into the next step in our evolution. We're going to literally rewrite our genetic construct. And for those that might think that, you know, this is, uh, what, uh, a, a, a segment from Hard to Believe magazine, I mean, uh, this year's DARPA budget, the 2011 presidentially approved DARPA budget, has millions of dollars in it for editing our soldiers' DNA. It has millions of dollars in it for creating what's called biodesign, which is a new synthetic form of life, a militarized new form of life. In fact, they're so concerned about it that they want a, some kind of a genetic off switch put in it in case it escapes and turns on us. So things are changing very rapidly, and the bottom line is what we've done with genetically modified plants, what we've done with genetically modified and transgenic animals, the next step. In early 2010, a team of geneticists in America began DNA testing on possibly the strangest looking skull ever discovered. Whilst trying to recover its nuclear DNA and matching it against the National Institute of Health database, they found a significant number of coherent base pairs that have never been seen before. This was an historic moment for science as it proved beyond all reasonable doubt that part of the skull's DNA is not human. Since that result, the geneticists have predicted that when the final genome recovery is complete, it will provide science with the first record of alien DNA ever discovered. Pharmaceuticals, biofarming, aiding scientists in cutting-edge research. PPL Therapeutics is working on a solution. They want to clone pigs whose organs can be transplanted into people. Cloned and genetically modified cows that can produce milk containing the same health properties as human breast milk. These glow-in-the-dark cats could help develop treatments for diseases, for animals, and for humans. Yes, you did hear that correctly. He has put a spider gene into a goat. Transgenic fish. So the fish actually have what appear to be six-pack abs that we see in humans. 